In the golden lands of ancient Egypt, during the time when gods walked among men, there rose a pharaoh of remarkable valor and ambition Kamose, the fierce lion of Thebes. His story, woven into the very fabric of history, is a testament to the resilience and indomitable spirit of a ruler who stood at a pivotal crossroads in Egypt's storied past. Kamose, possibly born to the warrior king Sekinonra Tau and the formidable queen Aotep I, was a scion of royal blood destined for greatness. His sibling, Amos I, would later follow in his footsteps, but it was Kamose who first set the stage for a new era of Egyptian supremacy. As the last pharaoh of the Theban 17th dynasty, Kamose ascended to the throne in a time of turmoil and unrest. The Hyksos, a people of West Semitic origin, had seized control of Lower Egypt, imposing their rule and disrupting the age-old balance of power. But Kamose was not one to be cowed by foreign invaders. In the 16th century BCE, he embarked on a daring and audacious mission to reclaim his kingdom's lost glory. His military campaigns were not mere skirmishes or battles, they were a series of calculated, strategic moves that reflected his deep understanding of warfare and statecraft. Kamose's Year 3 Stela, a monumental inscription, stands as a proud testament to his determination. It was once believed that this marked the end of his reign, but historical revelations have painted a different picture. Kamose, it seems, continued to rule for one or two more years, a period marked by his second campaign, this time against the Nubians to the south. The greatness of Kamose's reign was not merely in his military exploits, but in the way he rekindled the flame of Egyptian sovereignty. His confrontations with the Hyksos and the Nubians were not just battles for land, but were symbolic of Egypt's struggle to maintain its identity, culture, and divine mandate. The capture of a letter from the Hyksos king Apophis, intended for the king of Kush, revealed the desperate straits the Hyksos found themselves in, facing the relentless pressure of Kamose's forces. As we delve into the annals of history, Kamose emerges not just as a ruler, but as a beacon of hope and resilience. His reign, though brief, was a precursor to the liberation of Egypt from foreign rule and the dawn of a new era under Amos I and the subsequent 18th dynasty. This period of rejuvenation, known as the New Kingdom, would see Egypt reach new heights of power and splendor. Kamose's story is a powerful reminder of the impact one individual can have on the course of history. His legacy teaches us the value of courage in the face of adversity, the importance of understanding our past, and the undeniable truth that from the ashes of struggle, a new, brighter future can be forged. As we journey through the corridors of time, let us carry with us the spirit of Kamose, embracing the wisdom of our ancestors to illuminate our path forward. For in understanding the triumphs and trials of those who walk before us, we gain not only knowledge but the power to shape our own destiny. As the sun set over the Nile, casting long shadows over the temples and pyramids of Thebes, Kamose stood on the balcony of his palace, contemplating the journey ahead. His heart was heavy with the burden of kingship, yet alight with the fiery determination that had become his hallmark. In his mind's eye, he saw not just the Egypt of his time, but the Egypt that could be a land free from the yoke of foreign dominators, a kingdom united under the divine rule of the pharaoh. Kamose's vision was not one of mere conquest, but of revival and renewal. He saw himself as the custodian of an ancient legacy, a legacy that stretched back to the mythical times of gods and heroes. In his dreams, he walked with Osiris and spoke with Isis, drawing strength from their eternal wisdom. His connection to the divine was not just a matter of faith, it was a tangible thread that bound him to the very soul of Egypt. As he prepared for his campaigns, Kamose surrounded himself with advisors and priests, seeking their counsel and blessings. His plans were meticulously crafted, each move a step towards the ultimate goal of liberation. The battles that followed were fierce, the kind that would be recounted for generations in songs and stories. Kamose, at the head of his armies, was a sight to behold, a warrior king in his prime, leading from the front, his courage and inspiration to his soldiers. But the true measure of Kamose's greatness lay not in the battles he won, but in the hope he inspired in his people. 
To the common folk of Egypt, he was more than a king. He was the embodiment of their aspirations, a living symbol of the resilience of the human spirit. His reign, though brief, was a catalyst that ignited the flames of a resurgent Egypt, setting the stage for the Golden Age to come. As we reflect on Kamosa's legacy, let us remember that history is not just a series of dates and events, but a tapestry of human experiences and emotions. It is in the stories of people like Kamose that we find the essence of our collective past, a past that shapes our present and guides our future. By embracing the lessons of history, we can find the courage to face our own challenges, the wisdom to make wise choices, and the inspiration to reach for the stars. In the end, Kamose's story is not just a chapter in a history book. It is a beacon of light, guiding us through the darkness, reminding us that greatness is born not in moments of ease, but in times of challenge and adversity. As we journey through our own lives, let us carry the spirit of Kamose within us, a reminder that with courage, vision, and determination, we too can leave an indelible mark on the sands of time. In the twilight of Kamose's reign, the land of Egypt buzzed with the energy of change. The victories against the Hyksos had rejuvenated the spirit of the nation, stirring a collective awakening. Thebes, the heart of Kamose's kingdom, transformed into a bustling hub of activity, echoing with the sounds of construction and the fervor of renewal. Temples were restored, monuments erected, and the arts flourished, as if reflecting the renewed vigor of the nation. Kamose, ever the visionary, understood that his military triumphs were but a means to an end. His true legacy would be in the re-establishment of Ma'at, the cosmic order that was the foundation of Egyptian civilization. It was a time for rebuilding, not just in the physical sense, but in the spiritual and cultural realms as well. He fostered a renaissance of religious and cultural practices, reviving ancient rituals and traditions that had been neglected during the years of Hyksos' rule. The common people, who had once lived in the shadow of foreign dominion, now basked in the light of a reinvigorated sense of identity. They saw in Kamose not just a ruler, but a liberator, a pharaoh who had restored their dignity and their heritage. This was a time when the bond between the ruler and the ruled was strengthened, not through fear or oppression, but through a shared vision of a brighter future. As Kamose's life drew to a close, there was a sense of both mourning and celebration throughout the land. Mourning for the loss of a great leader, but celebration for the foundation he had laid for the generations to come. His successor, Amos I, would inherit not just a throne, but a mission, to continue the work that Kamose had begun, to lead Egypt into an era of unprecedented glory. The legacy of Kamose, like the Great Nile, flows through the annals of history, a reminder of the power of human will and perseverance. His story teaches us that greatness is not just in what we achieve, but in what we inspire others to achieve. It reminds us that our lives are interconnected, part of a greater narrative that spans time and space. In the modern world, where the pace of life often disconnects us from our past, the tale of Kamose beckons us to pause and reflect. It invites us to look beyond the fleeting concerns of the present and connect with something larger than ourselves, the enduring spirit of humanity that has shaped our past and will shape our future. As we stand on the shoulders of giants like Kamose, let us remember that we too have the power to shape the course of history. In our hands lie the tools to build a better world, a world that honors the wisdom of the past while forging a new path forward. Let us embrace this challenge with the same courage, wisdom, and determination that Kamose showed, and let our own stories be a testament to the timeless human spirit. In the aftermath of Kamose's reign, the echoes of his deeds rippled through the ages, shaping the very essence of what it meant to be Egyptian. His successor, Amos I, inherited a kingdom at the cusp of greatness, a land that had been unified and invigorated under Kamose's rule. It was a time of transition, of turning old dreams into new realities. Amos I, standing upon the legacy of his predecessor, embarked on a journey to solidify the gains made by Kamose. He continued the campaigns against the Hyksos, ultimately driving them out of Egypt and reclaiming the lands that had been lost. This victory was not just a military achievement, 
it was a cultural and spiritual renaissance. The expulsion of the Hyksos marked the end of the Second Intermediate Period and the dawn of the New Kingdom, an era that would see Egypt rise to heights unparalleled in its history. Under the New Kingdom, the ideals and aspirations set forth by Kamose flourished. Art, architecture, and literature saw a renaissance, as the collective psyche of the nation turned towards celebration of their identity and heritage. Magnificent temples were built, splendid tombs were carved into the Valley of the Kings, and tales of gods and heroes were inscribed in stone and papyrus, immortalizing the myths and legends of ancient Egypt. But the story of Kamose and his legacy is more than a tale of kings and conquests. It is a narrative about the resilience of the human spirit, about the ability to rise from the ashes of despair and forge a new path. It is about the eternal quest for identity and meaning in a world that is constantly changing. In our modern era, where the sands of time have covered many of the ancient wonders, the spirit of Kamose still whispers to us. It reminds us that each one of us is part of a larger story, a tapestry that is woven with the threads of our individual lives. Our actions, our choices, and our dreams are not just our own. They are part of the continuum of history, influencing and being influenced by the flow of time. As we walk through our own lives, let us take a moment to listen to these whispers of the past. Let us draw inspiration from the courage and vision of leaders like Kamose, using their lessons to guide our own journeys. In doing so, we honor their memory and contribute to the ongoing saga of humanity. The story of Kamose, then, is not just a chapter in a history book. It is a living, breathing reminder of our potential for greatness. It challenges us to rise above our limitations, to unite in the face of adversity, and to create a legacy that will inspire generations to come. In this way, we keep the flame of the past alive, lighting the way for a future filled with hope, wonder, and endless possibilities. Click like, subscribe, and share this channel.